What is up guys, Cruise Designs here and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a glossy text layer style and then save the style into the layer styles palette down here for ease of access so that you can apply it to text whenever you want without having to create the effect all over again. So I'm going to make a new canvas, OK, I'm going to come to my text tool and my font is lot, a uh, nice chunky font. And then I think I'll write uh, cruise. And then I'm going to make the color black for now. So I've got my text. Then you want to double click on the text layer to bring up the blending options. And first of all, I'm going to create the glossy effect. So we're going to come to gradient, click on the gradient overlay. Click on the color box here, and that will bring up the gradient option. Now, uh, the first color you want is quite a light color, so I'm going to make my text, I'm going to make my layer style a purple layer style. So I'm going to double click on the black arrow, and I'm going to make it a light purple. Then you want to click in the middle and that will create another arrow the same color as the arrow you just created but you want to change this um, color to a dark purple and you'll see now it goes from light purple to dark purple to white click OK and you can see that here then you want to create another arrow just next to it and that will create another dark purple arrow however you want to make this arrow uh, light purple as well so I'm going to make that slightly lighter than the bottom light purple here. I'm going to drag that down. And you want to drag it down so it's just above the dark purple arrow. You see, if I go too far, the whole gradient will flip round. So you want it just on it. And that will create a nice sharp edge on here and on your text. And then you want to double click on the white arrow and change this color to a light purple as well. So that press OK. And there we've got a nice glossy glossy looking text. So now I'm going to apply a stroke and I'll put the size to two. Apply a bevel. And a lot of uh, people don't use the contour option. This option is actually incredibly useful. You can change the gloss contour and my favorite is the double ring here i click that and put the range up a bit go back to bevel and put the size up a bit not too much there we go and then i'll apply a drop shadow put the size of that up make the blend mode to normal there we go so I like that layer style, so that's the layer, st layer style that I would want to use over and over again. So to save it, you come to New Style, name it whatever you want, I'll name mine Purple Gloss, press OK, press OK, and it will appear in your Layer Styles palette. So if I went to create a rectangle, say, and I wanted to use that layer style, you can click that layer style and it will apply it. If your layer style palette is not in your Photoshop layout, um, say it looks like this, you, there's no layer style option, you can't find it, come up to Window and select Styles. That will open up your style palette. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful to those of you who are wondering how to use layer styles, how to save them. This is Cruise Designs. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe for more of these tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video.